Welcome back to another <laughs> Welcome back to another Welcome back everybody to another video today. We are going to be working on Audrey's Escape yet again and yesterday's video with this car We went ahead and installed a Android powered radio If you want to see the install for that and all the features I'll have a link in the description down below today We are going to the junkyard to pick up some OEM fender flares for this car the reason why we're doing this is because we think it looks better with the fender flares and the fender flares will cover up the rust that we had to cut out for the rear quarter panel. So it'll hide some of the imperfections and it'll just look better. We also are going to fix the O2 sensor and maybe get the windows tinted or something. I don't know. Well, we'll kind of play it by ear. But before this video gets any further, I want to go ahead and thank our sponsor. Now the sponsor of today's video is Disc Plates. Disc Plates makes awesome metal posters. These posters are really awesome, thin metal posters. They're really great quality. They're mounted with magnets, so it's super easy to mount, and it also makes it so you can move them around. The designs are created by artists. They look really awesome. There's a ton of options, and it's just, it's just great. Heck yeah, that looks really, really awesome. So yet again, thank you to Displate for sponsoring this video. If you guys want some awesome metal posters, Link in the description, really helps support the channel. Thank you guys so much. And without any further ado, Audrey, let's go to the junkyard to pick up some parts. Oh, you know, just uh, using my brand new, well, Audrey's brand new radio with maps installed. <laughs> We made it to the junkyard, but it has begun to rain. So I'm not gonna bring my camera out because I don't wanna get it wet. Um, so we're gonna go try to find some forward escapes with fender flares and rip those off real quick and get out of here. New radio worked awesome. It's crazy how much difference a radio makes to a driving experience. Like it's just so nice, sounds better. You can listen to your own music, it's so good. Well, we got the little fender trim. Pretty miserable. It wasn't raining very hard when we got here and then it started Raining pretty hard, so we got drizzle. soaked. Yeah, it's supposed to drizzle. Um, and now Audrey's late for work, so let's well, can get we going. Can we talk about how my makeup did not go all over the place? All six trim pieces were 30 bucks, versus one of them online was 80 bucks, so good deal. Bye, Audrey. You're late to work. <laughs> Kind of travel like it just gets so much wheel gap when it's lifted in the air um, but yeah so the plan pretty much is to go ahead paint the new plastic trim to match the plastic trim that we have while that is drying we're gonna you know take off this plastic trim that we have to replace and I'm gonna wet sand the rear quarter panels and I'm going to fix this O2 sensor so no more check engine light A couple of these trim pieces are a little bit bent or dented, as you can kind of see in that corner right there. So I'm going to use the heat gun to pop those dents out and then we can start sanding and painting those. Popped out. Just like new. Now while all those dry, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this O2 sensor. Old one, new one, I think I got the correct one, so let's go ahead and put this thing back in, and hopefully it works. Looks like the wire's a little shorter. Sure. 
we're going to start off with the rear back here. In order to get these old ones off, you have to actually take the door panel off so you can get into the little tabs from the inside. Um, or you can rip it off, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so we're going to do it kind of legit. It's crazy how much color difference. This is the exact same paint, but just from it, you know, fading for a week or so, well, a couple weeks, it's, it's a big difference, but it will eventually be the same color. That piece came off there. I'm gonna take this piece off. Nice. This goes nicely on like so. Yay! First step is to pop this factory one off. Then we clean it all up. By the time I finished installing those fender flares yesterday, it was already dark, so got some shots of Audrey's car this morning. It looks really good from a distance, but it's not perfect up close. There's a couple of issues. For one, in the rear, it was just kind of hard to get the things to sit right, because it's just using double-sided tape. The other issue is that we don't have the bumper flares. So it's not perfect, but it I think it definitely looks better than having the cut-up fender there. It looks nice, it cleans up the black trim, it makes it so it actually goes throughout the entire car. I think it looks better. I'll definitely have to play around with it, try to adjust some things. I'm worried that the double-sided tape might take up the take off the paint in the rear, which would suck. The last thing we have for Audrey's car, last video we're gonna do on her car for a while, is the lowering springs and the new brakes. Um, I know a lot of you guys like these videos. I know a lot of you guys wish we were working on the rail meow or the truck. Um, so thank you for all the positive feedback. Thank you for all the feedback in general. There's really no update on the truck yet. We haven't figured out exactly what to do. In the next video or two, we should be working on the Rally Miata, getting it running, having some fun with it, and then taking some like really old guy just rollerbladed past. That was hilarious. He looked at me, he judged me hardcore because I'm sitting here holding a camera, but I judged him hardcore because he's a really old dude. <laughs> What the, heck, what the heck's happening? I just really want to thank you guys for the continued support, especially on Patreon. After the video where I talked about my financial issues and the truck stuff, the patrons on Patreon doubled. It went up from like $200 to like $400, which is just crazy because I didn't even talk about it. I didn't even talk about Patreon in that video. So I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys are making everything possible. I want to do some awesome stuff. I don't want to let you guys down, so just Stay tuned, not everything can happen super quickly, but I am excited, I'm definitely excited. I've got a lot of things I wanna do this winter and this next spring and stuff. I always have so many ideas and I, I don't have enough time or money to do any of those ideas. Um, I'm like, I'm already thinking about the next project and I haven't even gotten the truck running. So, gotta focus on the truck, get that thing running, hopefully before snow happens, cause it would really suck like, hey, it's running, and then, oh, it snows, and now we can't drive it. But, uh, yeah, don't really know what else to say. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the feedback. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.